Welcome, friends and fellow collectors. On today's episode of Diecast Emporium Military Mondays, brought to you by my friends at smallscalehobbies.com, visit their website for everything military models related. We are going to be taking a look at one of the first TDs, or tank destroyers, used by the Allied forces in World War II. This is the M-10 Tank Destroyer. The M-10 Tank Destroyer, formerly known as the 3-inch gun motor carriage M-10, was a U.S. tank destroyer during the Second World War. It was based on the chassis of the M4 Sherman tank, and despite the introduction of more powerful TD vehicles, the M10 remained in service until the end of the war. The British nicknamed the M10 the Wolverine, however U.S. troops never adopted the name and simply referred to them as TDs. It was designed in 1942 and manufactured by General Motors Ford, where 6,706 were built between 1942 and 1943. The vehicle weighed 65,000 pounds, or 29.6 metric tons, and it took a crew of five to operate the tank. You had a tank commander, three individuals to operate the weapons, and of course you had a tank driver. One of the biggest aspects of a tank destroyer that separates itself from a tank is the fact that tank destroyers, by name and concept, were designed to defeat the heavier German tanks by having a larger primary armament. This vehicle had a 76.2 mm M2 main gun, which typically had 54 rounds of ammo. Its secondary armament was a 12.7 mm M2 Browning machine gun. Its debut, its combat debut, was in Tunisia in 1943 during the North African campaign. Later, in 1944, in the European Theater of Operations, the M10 proved mostly ineffective against the frontal armor of German tanks, specifically the Tigers and the Panthers. However, if you can catch the tanks off guard and maybe knock out the tracks or hit the vehicles from behind, they proved very effective. By the fall of 1944, the improved 90mm gun motor carriage known as the M36 tank destroyer began to arrive in Europe. Meanwhile, in the Pacific, the M10s were used for infantry support, as the Japanese did not have a large contingent of armor. But more often than not, it left them vulnerable to Japanese snipers due to the open top. Alright, that's some information about the real M10 tank destroyer. Now, let's shift gears, no pun intended, and take a look at the model that you have seen in front of you for the past three minutes. This is a Rocco Mini Tanks kit, and what's cool about this kit is, unfortunately, I don't have the box to show you in this case, but you can either build, it's included in the same box, you can either build the TD-10, which you see in front of you, or the TD-36. They include the the turrets, and the main guns for both of them. Now, the main difference between the two is obviously the way that the turret looks. And as an example, I have the M36 that I will place right next to the M10 just to give you guys a visual representation of the two of them side by side. So again, this is the M10. This is the M36. You can see where it deviates mostly in the design of the main gun, the size of the main gun, and the back of the turret. Now note both of these are open in this configuration or this generation of tank, and the secondary weapon system could be moved, obviously, because it's a machine gun, 360 degrees. So no, it's not facing backwards. It is facing backwards, but of course you could rotate it any direction that you need. So again, M10, M36, this had a slightly larger main gun and an improved um, storage for weapons and a little bit more ergonomic for the crew inside. All right, so back to the subject of this video. Um, I said it, it said it by uh, Rocco Mini Tanks. It is a kit that you need to assem uh, completely assemble, but the kit only includes about 10 parts, so it's pretty easy to knock this out, honestly, in less than an hour. I chose to respray mine. Uh, then paint it, and then add some decals. You can see that I painted the tracks in some rubber black, um, added these decals, which again are not included with the tank. I painted the the uh, the Mod Deuce, 
for the machine gun, and some gunmetal paint from Tamiya. And then obviously the rest of the tank was painted in some World War II uh, ally olive drab green. Overall, pretty pleased with how it turned out. It looks pretty good. Obviously, there's no working. The tracks don't work. It's, you know, 187 scale or HO scale model. But you can rotate the tank turret 360 degrees, as seen here. And there are a lot of other subtle details in the casting that, unless you have a really good eye, it might be hard to pick up on camera, but you can see some casted details on the side and on the back and even on the front. So there you go. That is my review of the 187 scale uh, Rocco Mini Tanks M10 Tank Destroyer Kit. I love doing these videos because not only do I get to share my passion with military history, but obviously intertwine that with scale models. If you are looking to just knock the door down and get your foot in the door with military models, this is a good kit to start out on, like I said, less than 10 pieces. Directions very simplistic, uh, and the kit costs less than $16, so very easy to do. And honestly, modeling World War II vehicles is probably my favorite thing to do. All right, thank you all so much for watching. Until next time, take care, be well. I'll catch you in the next review.